Hello, it is I, a person you probably haven't seen on your feed in months. Just thought I'd bring back this series for the holiday season. I might make one, I might make two, I might go nuts and make one every week, I doubt it. But anyway, just thought I'd show you what I'm up to today. It is a Sunday, I am here in the office because there's just so much prep work to do. Um, I'm not gonna show you behind you my shelves and all that because it is a mess back there. That said, let's move on to the stuff I do want to show you, which I don't know. I think today I have, I have so much to do. I don't even know where to start. I'm probably only going to do like one out of like the seven things I have to do, but I know for sure I have to pack some orders that came in. I have to pack one big order that I got for which I still have to do a lot of prep work before I package that one. I'll show you guys what I do. I have to reorder a lot of products so they can be here on time for you guys to get them during the holidays. And I may or may not design a very belated Christmas card. I don't know, we're already like close to the middle of November. It's November 7th today. Last year this time around, I already had all that stuff in my shop. Right now I have one new Christmas card design. <laughs> I do have a bunch left over from last year, which is why I'm not too worried about having new designs on the shop, but it would still be nice to have like a new design or like six new designs, but I think I will be lucky to have three. <laughs> so yes, um, grab yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of water or just grab yourself something that'll relax you, that'll put you in a mood to watch a montage while you do other stuff. I don't know if you could tell by how artificially lit it is in here but it's already 5 p.m. and it's really dark because uh, daylight savings or whatever just happened but anyway first things first today I'm gonna be re-inventorying organizing packaging <laughs> this is my best-selling sticker so I just ordered a bunch of them this time um, it says echale ganas but don't forget to take a break and echale ganas is just a Spanish phrase for like give it your all, do your best type of thing. Uh, they always tell you that, but they never tell you to take care of yourself. So I thought with these stickers, it would be a good reminder to do that. I even have one myself on my laptop. You can barely see it and I'm not about to lift it up all the way because it is very plugged into a bunch of stuff right now. So what I've been doing with the stickers lately is putting them into little pouches of 10, just so that when I have to like keep track of them, rather than before where, and I still have some like this, they are just kind of loosely in here. <laughs> yeah, some of the other ones I have well organized. For example, these. This is like 10, 20, 30, and then the loose ones. And mind you, I have a lot of like urgent stuff I have to do right now, but I know that if I stop keeping track of staying organized that I'm gonna feel really stressed later on. So I have to do this. I think there's some other pro- Oh yeah, I got some magnets too, <laughs> so. Here's my leftover arroz magnets. They're not gonna come into focus. We all know it focuses on the face. Here, let's do it beauty vlogger style. So this is my leftover arroz magnet and this is my leftover frijoles magnet. These are also very popular so I bought more stock of them. Plus um, I also got a big order for some of these so I bought extras on top of that. <laughs>
Okay, so I got a big order for my magnets and for the I Comida en la Casa bags and I came to realize none of these products actually have any branding on them because when I send them out, I just send them. So it's not like the greeting cards where they have my logo on the back or the bagu bags where like the, ba the pouch for the bag itself has my logo. There's literally no branding or packaging for these. So I figured that going forward, I would add packaging to any like large or wholesale orders for these. For the magnets, I made a little header card. So they're gonna go like in a bag down here with the little header card above it. And then on the back, it says cositas for the Spanglish Fluent and all the tag us social media information. I didn't make it like super cute or anything just because I needed something quick. It's the exact same design as the thank you card. So I figured, do I need it to be cute? Like it's pretty on brand. And then for the I comida bags, I decided to print little hang tags so this is the one i actually use every day i ran out of stock on like my main ones because i got that big order but good problems to have same thing a uh, logo on one side and info on the back I, I fucked up and you have to flip it upside down so i got a little tagging gun this bad boy and i'm gonna put the little tags onto the bags like this and, and that'll be that that that's what i'll be doing going forward for the wholesale orders I think in order to prevent like spending more money that I don't need to spend like on packaging like as much as I love doing packaging sometimes it's not necessary so I'll probably like print like a small logo at the bottom here and same thing for the magnets like I've seen some companies where they just do like a small little logo on the side so that, that's something to think about going forward but for now I have some hang tags I have some header cards so we're gonna use them. If I'm being honest, I don't remember what the last thing I said or did on camera was, even though it was literally two days ago. Because that day I ended up staying here till one in the morning. <laughs> uh, me and my husband both, we just had like so much to do. And he doesn't usually work from here, but sometimes if I have a lot to do, he'll like come with me and just kind of, you know, be in it with me like doing his own thing but in another room and between him and me we both were like really behind on stuff so we really were just kind of like we're in a good flow doing our individual like work apart from each other um let's just stay here until we're at a good point until we feel like good about what we've done and that ended up being one in the morning i don't know what the hell i did i know i did a lot most of which i didn't film so um I'm about to get my day started. I literally just got here. I thought I'd turn the camera on straight away just to get into the flow of things. Usually when I come in, I'll grab my pastry and some sort of coffee or tea. I watch YouTube videos for like 20 minutes. It's just sort of become my little ritual. Who knows, maybe one day I'll actually make coffee. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so I just finished packing all of these bad boys. It's 100 of each design, so 200 total. I'm gonna take a quick break and then start closing them up and adding the header cards. Didn't have my camera on because I'm an idiot, but I did my first test one and it came out pretty cute.
So I collected all the little thingies I've been hating into a Ziploc bag. Kind of hard to get them in there though. Um, I saw one fly out, where'd it go? Anyway, I'm thinking maybe next time I'll just bring like a lint roller and like roll them off the table. I don't know. finished packing all of these guys so whew. now to move on to the bags okay so what I'm doing with the bags is I'm taking my swift tag gun and a hang tag and literally just tagging them because these don't have my branding on them and it's a big order so I think going forward until I change the bag designs to include my logo somewhere I'm gonna be hang tagging them for like wholesale orders and like big orders because sometimes I get orders from brands that are like hey we want to send these out to our influencers or as a gift to our employees and things like that and I realized that it kind of looks like it's a custom gift that they made for them rather than a product that comes from a official real company totally not just based out of someone's childhood bedroom because they can't afford a real studio or warehouse space for their products. I am watching a few podcasts while I do this because it's boring, mundane, tedious work. And right now I am putting just a few up here at a time while I tag them. And then I have a bunch more down here. I don't know how low it is. Yeah. So under me, I have my whole big box of them. And then next to me, I have the box that I'm gonna ship them out in. So they come up here, I tag them, they go down there. <laughs>
I am once again back on my bullshit. Don't remember when you last saw me, but I was probably stressed out. <laughs> and today's gonna be another one of those days where there's just a lot to do and I am not gonna leave here until I do it. I got a few things in the mail, so I will explain them to you as I open them, I guess. Okay, this one I already opened, but believe it or not, I ordered more of these magnets because I keep getting big orders for them. Yay! Here's another one I got from Sticker App. They got a new freebie to show the holographics. Kind of cool. But the thing I actually ordered was a restock of my Fluent in Spanglish stickers. If I sound extremely monotonous right now, because I already had like essentially a full work day and now I have to come in and uh... I'm overwhelmed. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get through this together. Here's another one. The box is already open. My husband and I have this joke. Not joke. It's just a thing we notice on this one commercial we always see on Hulu. And there's always one for... I don't remember what it is. It's one of those like grocery delivery services and there's like an influencer video where she's like opening up a box and you see her pretty much like this. It's the box and she has like a, a box cutter knife and like you see her doing this motion and then she does this but like if you look closely, not even that closely, like you could tell the box was already open but she still insisted on doing this. <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> it's been a long week you guys. Am I having a mental breakdown? Stay tuned to find out. Y'all, there's another box inside it. Oh, there's two boxes. I think I know what these are. At least I hope they are what I think they are. I love keeping this excess like packing craft paper because it comes in handy when I get like orders that don't quite fit the box. If I look exasperated, it's because I already tried saying this sentence a few times. It comes in handy when I get orders that don't it quite fit the box that they're... It comes in handy because... It, it comes in handy when I get orders that don't quite fit the box that I'm... You know, just like they did. Anyway, it's going in my pile of craft paper. So box number one is my Pueblo Door Christmas cards. Look how pretty they are. This is an old design from last year, but it was really popular. I think because it didn't have words on it, which is ironic because most of my products that sell well is because they have words on it because puns. And the second one is a reorder of my Happy Tamales and Champurrado season card from last year. This was a really popular design, so I thought I'd order a few more for this year. More craft paper. One more box from the print shop. How many boxes do we think are gonna be inside this one though? It's more than I... Oh, there's envelopes. Okay. So I'm an idiot and I ordered a bunch of white envelopes for this 5x7 card I have. Not realizing that the envelopes that I send out my stickers in are also 5x7 and I ordered thousands of those. So now I have... I don't know, like 200 more? <laughs> Wait, I'm still missing my new Christmas cards then. I hope those come out well because I'm gonna have no time to post them up. This one's just a rebuy of my Te Mando Un Abrazote card. And of course, more craft paper. <gasps> These might be the Christmas cards. So I'm not gonna open up the whole card since they're nicely packaged, but you can see the little preview here. These are my Estas Son Las Mañanitas greeting cards. They're not shiny, it's just the wrapping. And they're featuring some delicious chilaquiles with a little sparkler on top of it because I thought a candle would look too much like my card that has a slice of cake on it with a candle, so sparkler, cute. Ooh. This is one of the new Christmas card designs I made for this year. It says, Feliz Navidad y Prospero Año Nuevo. And my other new design uh, that says Happy Tamales Season. It's very similar to the one from last year, like theme wise, but the artwork was different and I thought it would be cute to do like pink cards this year. That's it, that's my only two new designs for this year. Everything else is just uh, leftovers that I have from last year and the other ones that are rebought that are the same designs as last year because they were popular. Now time to post all these on the website, on social media and hope that people like them. So I just finished adding the two new Christmas cards to the website while watching a bunch of Taylor Swift live performances as well as her new um the 10 minute music video for All Too Well. I don't, I've just it's been a very cool week for Swifties am I right? Am I the only one? I'm not crying but I'm just 
in a mood today. Anyway, now that that one important part is over, which was me adding all the new cards, all two, all two of the new cards to the website. But you know, it's a thing, I gotta add descriptions and I'll, I gotta make my little mock-ups and all that jazz. Time to start actually packing today's orders. <laughs> Another day, another overwhelm. Uh, ooh, did my lonja? Yeah. So many women are embarrassed that their arms do that, so here you go. Let me normalize it for you. Um, it, it, it happens to all of us, even the skinny ones, because like our bodies, they need fat, okay? Okay? I don't know if they need it here, but they have it. <laughs> oh god, there's tape on my hair. Anyway, I just finished shooting. Uh, can I turn the camera out? I just finished reshooting my pens. Do you remember these? Do you remember the pen saga of 2020? I basically had no room on my desk to shoot. Like this isn't even <laughs> the desk. It's smaller, but I, I made it work. I just moved my laptop all the way back and I couldn't even roll this out all the way. Like that's how little room I had. These are my props. I forget like what a vibe everything is, you know? Like, don't these look cute together? Um, I needed to reshoot them because I just got a restock in and the vendor actually made the corrections that I requested last time. So the difference is hardly noticeable. But I moved the text to be on one side over the other. As a left-handed person, I actually prefer the older one because like I can write with my left hand and still read the text appropriately. Um, but most people are right-handed and so I wanted to switch it up. I also made it so that the green text here matched the green on here because before it was like a turquoise and I also made the text slightly smaller. I know they're small changes but I'm super happy with them. I just was unsatisfied with them when I first released them so I'm really glad that they made them right this time and that they arrived right on time for the holidays. I also have a reorder coming in for the uh, canvas totes, the ones that you saw me like tagging with the swift tag gun because uh that big order basically sold me out like i still have a few left and the new bag should be arriving pretty soon so i am i'm really happy with a lot of things like i know i seem so overwhelmed and stressed but actually a lot of things are going right i think the overwhelming thing is how little room i have in my office to store any of these things but honestly i'm just really happy that these products exist that they are out in the world and that people are enjoying them enough that I'm actually selling out of them and having to um, create more. I actually have um, more design ideas for similar pens like these. I wanted to release them around Halloween, but I didn't have time at the time, but they're gonna be cute. There's gonna be like a black one. They're gonna be like dark colored and they're gonna be like witchy themed, hopefully like bruja themed and like energy and things like that. So look out for those next year. And yeah, that's it for today. Um, 
Oh no, I do have one more update. Got a bunch of these little stickers in the mail so that I can add to my packaging because my old stickers actually had my logo on them. And then I realized my backer cards have the logo, the header cards now have, enough things have the logo now that I can get rid of it in some spots and replace it with something else, something cute, something that's still branded and that still speaks to my customer. So yeah, I just made the little sticker that looks like washi tape that says cute cositas inside. In retrospect, I could have just designed washi tape. I don't know. I like the quality of this. It's sturdy. So I didn't actually film anything today except for me talking to you right now. Um, I'll catch you next time. It is currently a little past 9 p.m. on Thanksgiving. Just wanted to stop by here for a couple hours after dinner because I fell a little behind this week after I got sick from having to do a lot of moving stuff. I don't know if I've even talked here about my personal non-work related things here, but I'm currently in the process of moving and it's been crazy and my allergies just started acting up and I was feeling like crap for a few days. So now I'm here, I'm gonna basically just catch up on like the priority orders, the ones that are like, you have to ship by today or by tomorrow. So I'm gonna do that. I do have a few things I wanna do, or rather need to do before I start packing orders. For example, I got some of these new pen sets in and these all still need to be prepackaged onto their backer cards. If I'm talking softly, it's cause I'm pretty sure my brother is asleep on the other side of this room. But I was having issues with my Cricut mat, like it wasn't sticking, so it wasn't cutting my cards properly. Like this one only has one slit in it for the pens. So I, I gave it a little wash, I'm just waiting for it to dry out and hopefully it'll work. And if not, then worse comes to worse, I will just send out the pens without their backer cards, just slide them into people's packages because they need to get sent out ASAP. I'm so glad that I got my rebuy order in recently but just the timeline on everything with my orders and my rebuys and having a bunch of wholesale orders because it's close to the holidays well it now is the holidays it's literally thanksgiving today everything overlapped in such a crazy way for me oh and if the lighting looks crazy pink it's because i did that because i don't know i just wanted it to feel a little different because it's not your typical work day
so like the past month or so my office had been a mess there had been like boxes right here on the floor and it was just really hard to maneuver around here and I was having a rough time so one day out of nowhere like my dad just came in and like emptied out all the boxes that were on the floor and like reorganized everything so that it's on the shelves and not just on the floor and he even made like his own little system he was like yeah i put the the cards in front so you could see which cards are in which boxes this box has cards and post-its so he made sure i could see the post-it here too like up here this is just a white envelope so he just put a white envelope hanging here and i'm like the the ingenuity and simplicity of like this man's ideas it doesn't end there over here there's a bunch more cards and here's all their envelopes kind of just standing up here and they're being held up by like a straw like just a metal straw he like poked a hole through this box or poked two holes through the box and like stuck the metal straw and used that to hold them up and i'm like oh my god <laughs> And I did clean too, like I thought I did at least. Like for example, I put all my packing supplies into a box and under the desk, so they're kind of hidden away, but they're still easy to access. But oh my God, I was just blown away when I walked in. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, really thankful for my parents. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't finish every order I had to pack, but at the very least, I did the ones where the latest ship date was like tomorrow. So I think I'm in a good place. I was like starting to fall asleep on my desk, so. I'm gonna go home, get some rest, and I'll be back soon.
It is currently the Tuesday after uh, the big Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, etc. sale. Which by the way, I only did a Small Business Saturday sale because I had no time to plan anything. But it went really well. I'm here today packing all of those orders, or at least the ones I can get done. I more than doubled what I sold last year, so I'm really excited about that. So I just thought I'd come by and say hi on a day that isn't freaking 10 p.m. on Thanksgiving or whatever the hell it was last time I was here. I'm currently doing a little co-working session with some of my business amigas. And if you haven't done one before, it's essentially where y'all just go on a Zoom chat and like work at the same time. We're using like a Pomodoro timer thing. So we like work for like a chunk of time and then take a little bit of a break where we just kind of talk to each other, go grab something to eat. So it sort of mimics, you know, the idea of like working with other people, but kind of in your own space. Um, It's nice, I enjoy it. I don't know, I'm the type of person that likes to have something to watch on the side. So usually I'll be watching like other studio vlogs while I pack, but you know, it's nice to see people actually live and stuff that can respond to you when you talk. But other than that, I'm basically just packing orders the rest of the day. I've already gone through like half of them, but I think the second half is gonna take me a lot longer to pack because what I usually do is batch all the orders that came in with like items. So if like 10 people ordered the same greeting card, I'll just pack those 10 at once. And if 10 more people order the same sticker, I'll pack the same sticker all at once because they all weigh the same, they're in the same package. It's really easy to streamline that way. However, now it means that the ones I have left are just a mix of a bunch of items. So I'm not looking forward to it, but I am excited to get them done, get them to people's houses and see what you guys think of them. I'm gonna stop talking and get back to it, but I'll see you later. <laughs> I just turned around like, oh God, I hope I'm fucking muted. <laughs> cause the way I film these, I like, sometimes I just pause cause I don't know what to say next, which is stupid. Cause if I was like just in a conversation with someone, I would just keep talking or whatever comes out of my mouth comes out. But I think because I'm fully aware that this is editable, I just, I just take long fucking pauses sometimes, okay? One thing I didn't do in the first batch of orders that I packed was write custom thank you notes because it would just take way too long and I'd probably be here till midnight again. But I am gonna do it for the customers that ordered a variety of things because I know that they actually specifically went to my shop to get these things for either their friends or because they got them on sale and maybe they'd been eyeing them for a while. So while I am extremely thankful for all my customers, I do want to take, you know, the time out of my day to just sort of thank them for everything they're able to make possible for me. It is now the next day and I am continuing to do the exact same thing I was doing because I was only able to pack maybe a little less than half of the orders before I had to go home. Except I'm not having a co-working session now, but I am catching up on a few YouTube videos and probably giving Bo Burnham's Inside another rewatch. I don't know, I've been feeling a little extra existential lately, so I thought that would just you know, tie my whole life together <laughs> is watching that while I work.
like a nice packing video, but honestly, this is just the reality of what happens. Like, I don't know if you could hear my family in the background, but um, that's what it's like. What's up? So you have more of that. Um, the little disclaimer. stickers? Yeah, I'm printing them out right now. What you're hearing is the sweet, sweet sound of my thermal printer singing the song of its people. Hey, Estoy trabajando. Sí, tía reina sí trabaja. No, no, no. ¿Dónde estás ayudando, tía reina? Yo ya vamos a ver. Oh sí, le estás ayudando, tía. Sí, tengo un empleado. El empleado más cute. Vamos a acabar de comer. Toma. Y a veces los tío Joseph. Con cuidado, porque se caen fácil. Toma, tío Joseph. Just got boba to, to help keep going, you know. Okay, maybe now I can finish packing this one order I've been packing for a half hour. Yeah, muchacho, ven. Did no more algorithms? No, <laughs> yes, I'm a human, not a product. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mickey, if you're watching this, thanks so much for your patience with this order. <laughs> packaging for stickers and stuff arrived today. I'm really happy about it. It's nothing too crazy different, but when I had originally designed it, I just kind of needed something real quick. So I just made them, ordered them, and that's it. And then they took a while to sort of go through. So now that I'm finally running out of those, actually I ran out of the vertical ones already. This is literally my last one. I finally went ahead and ordered some. Um, they're a little more well thought out. The design is essentially the same, but I'll just show you. Okay, so this was my original backer card for like stickers and any item that kind of fits here. I also have, I think, the sun catcher decals in this and a few other items. And it's just a simple backer card and the back says like, show us how you use our products by tagging ghetto prints. And then whenever I had a chance, I would write like the thank you cards here. So that's why I just kind of left this part blank. The new one has like a little bit of a pre-written thank you card on it already. So I'll have the product here. And then once you take it out, you'll see a little note from me. And then rather than including like a freebie with every order, I've made it so that this is now a freebie. It is a cute little art print you can put on your wall. So here's the front, it has my thank you card and then like cositas for the Spanglish fluent. And then a little note at the bottom that says, P.S. I think the back of this card would look great on your wall. And then you turn it around and see a Buenas Vibras only art print. I essentially, <gasps> I 
just noticed a mistake I made and I printed so many of these. I'm gonna reorder these with the fix, but it's okay. It's just, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. And I usually have like my husband proofread everything I do. So anyway, um, horizontal one. Same thing, same text on the back, except because I use these for the pens and like they get cut off right here so I can attach the pens, I didn't want to put the art print on the back so I put the little thank you card on the back and this is where the cutouts for the pens are gonna be on the other side. However, I still kept the note that said, P.S. we think this would look great on your wall. So I know what I'm gonna do about these cards, this set of cards I receive, but I'm definitely gonna order new ones that don't have that note. Okay, I figured out what I'm gonna do with all the cards that have all that text that doesn't apply to them at the bottom. <laughs> because one other problem I've had is I have all these little envelopes that nothing fits into anymore. I used to pack pins in them, but now I have them in like little boxes to protect them. And then I put those in like bigger bags. So nothing's been fitting inside of these. So what I'm starting to do right now is slicing the bottom text off of these. And then I'm gonna put um, some of the pen sets in here so I'll still have like the holes cut out and the pens are gonna go here and then the back it'll still be as functional as I wanted it to be and now even more so because I can use these little mailers that I haven't been able to use that I have like 50 of and slide them in here when they're ready <laughs> so that's what I'm doing the rest of the day um, anyway, back to real time, Reyna. Anyway, I just came here to sort of close out the vlog and say thank you to anyone who's made it this far. It's been a very tiring holiday season. There were a lot of days I didn't even record because I had so much to do that I was like, I, don't, I do not have time to bring out a camera and move it around and, and re-tripod it for every different thing I do. But that's okay, um, I survived my first big holiday season after starting Ghetto Prints. It's technically my second year, like packing holiday orders and prepping for all of that. But the first year I had just kind of started it. I started the company in like August of that year. So it was still all pretty new to me. Now I have a little more hindsight, prepped a little better. Except for that time I ordered cards saying the back of this would look great on your wall and there's nothing, no art print in the back. Thank you so much <laughs> to anyone who watched. It's been a crazy holiday season. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't know when I'll be making another one again, but thanks so much for coming along with me on my journey. I hope you have a great weekend, great holiday season. Happy New Year. And if you make re New Year's resolutions, I hope you stick to them. Now, why am I saying I hope? I should manifest for you, right? You will stick to your resolutions and you'll make hella money and you're gonna be happy and you're gonna be healthy and you're just gonna have a great time in 2022. Okay, bye.